Hello everybody, Lance here and the current basic series on my channel came out about almost a year ago and the Blender 2.8 was in beta back then and uh, there has been a lot of changes since those videos and now some people find the basic series to be confusing and do more harm than good so yeah it is uh, a good time to remake the basic series now that Blender 2.8 is officially out. So for this series, I assume that you know absolutely nothing about Blender or 3D art in general. So I will explain the most basics of concepts in 3D art as well as Blender. Okay. So at the end of uh, this series, you should have some basic knowledge about 3D art and Blender and uh, you should be able to make some simple objects like tables or chairs or teapots and uh, stuff. Alright, so let's begin. Alright, so this is the default UI of Blender 2.8. If you have just installed Blender 2.8, the first time you run Blender, there will be a dialog that asks you about some initial settings and just leave everything as default and you will end up with exactly the same Blender that I am using here. If you changed the, the setting somehow, then you can go to Edit, Preferences and down here, click this icon and choose Load Factory Preferences and close the Preference window. Alright, so first things first, let me show you the user interface of Blender. This big region here, this is the 3D viewport. And on the top right, we have the outliner. This is the list of everything you have in your Blender file. And below the outliner is the property panel. This is where you find and change the property of your objects as well as the 3D scene itself. At the bottom we have the timeline and finally on the top we have the menu and the default workspaces. Now notice that we are currently in the layout workspace. You can change to another workspace such as UV editing and see that the UI is different. So let's go back to the layout workspace. Now Blender's UI is actually just a bunch of divisions of the window and each division displays a view and at any given time you can change the view being displayed in the division. To do that, click on the icon on the top left corner of the division and change it to another view. For example, the shader editor view and we can also change this view to let's say 3D view for example and again the property panel can be changed to the outliner. Alright, so how do we divide a division into two smaller divisions? To do that, move your mouse closer to the corner of a division until it becomes a plus icon. Now you can click and drag horizontally to split vertically and drag vertically to split horizontally. Now we can change the divisions to whatever we need. Okay, cool. So. How do we merge two divisions? To do that, you have to make sure that two divisions you want to merge share the same edge. For example, we cannot merge these two divisions because this one is longer and these two divisions can be merged because they share the same edge here. So to merge the two divisions, click on the corner of one division and drag into the other and now they merge into one big division. So now you can go back to the other workspaces and see that these are just different ways of dividing the window.